Um, so, uh, yeah, over the, over the course of the pandemic, when I had a little bit of extra free time on my hands, uh, I decided to start upstreaming some of the, the PDU processing uh, blocks that I spoke about uh, in, in 2019. And the, uh, the idea here is that some of these would benefit a lot from being more integrated into, into GNU Radio. And uh, I decided that I, since I've been doing that, I would uh, take a few minutes and walk through a little bit of the motivation there, the process there, the status, and where, where it's going. Not work. So uh, this has been talked about a bit. What, what, what PDUs are there? pairs of metadata and, and data. So you can stick whatever sort of key value metadata you need uh, to keep track of, the, of what the data means and pass it around in GNU Radio or, or uh, over networks and, and things like that. It, uh, typically within GNU Radio, these are moved around using the asynchronous message passing API. So this is a little bit different than most of the examples that exist out in the, in the world for GNU Radio. Um, I'm not gonna, th there is a, the talk from 19, 2019 covers all of this uh, a little bit more in detail, and I don't want to repeat all of that now. But what I do want to talk about is, you know, why why we're upstreaming these now and where it's going. So um, all of this work started primarily because I had a very simple thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to receive data from a bursty modem, and then I wanted to transmit slightly different data back at a specific time and frequency of my choosing, and it's not very straightforward to implement that with what is what has been in GNU Radio for a long time. You can, and there's lots of lots of uh, lots of workarounds to use the streaming API to do things like that that are really conceptually more uh, discrete uh, discrete operations. A, a message of data I want to emit at you know x frequency at x time to interact with a real radio out in the world somewhere. Uh, is easier to handle with when you have all of that information contained in a single data object. Uh, there, there are tag stream blocks which have existed for a long time and conceptually they do the same thing. There's just a lot of bugs and annoyances in working with them and they're scheduled for deprecation at some point in the future. Uh, I don't know if we're ever gonna do that, but we should. <laughs> so the general idea here is just to make some of these So yeah, the, the general idea here is to make make these conceptually straightforward things equally straightforward to implement in software radio. Um, there are a couple of just general disadvantages when working with PDUs. One is that as soon as you get away from the streaming interface, which has this nice concept of back pressure enabling all of these really high performance, uh, high performance things that we do with GNU Radio, um, you lose you lose losing that reduces performance and throughput a little bit. Um, there's also an infinite queue depth with PDUs, so if you shove a ton of PDUs and PDU data in to a block faster than it can process it, you're going to end up with giant backlogs, so it requires a little bit of user side management to, to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, you also have to deal with PMTs, and with the work that John Sally is doing to update those, it will directly benefit all of these PDU applications when we move towards a, a slightly more sane library for dealing with, with PDU uh, or PMT type objects. Um, so a couple other things that have gotten uh, upstreamed along with this are some sane type checking. So historically there's been some problems with dictionary type objects. This is, these are all uh, PMT quirks where everything is composed of pairs, which are all under the hood, more and more and more pairs. Uh, there are some additional, uh, there are some additional PMT checks that are gonna make it easier to work with, with PDUs. Um, standardizing data, vector data types. Technically, you can use any data type you want with PDU, but if you stick with some of the more uh, sort of five common ones you'll use in, in GNU Radio a lot, it makes your life a whole lot easier. There are also uh, a bunch of common port, message port names and metadata keys that are being upstream uh, that, are, that are in uh, GNU Radio runtime now that you can use the getters for those to, to save uh, a bunch of extra work in out of tree modules that, that are using PDUs. 
Um, building flow graphs, the, the sort of general, uh, general process for working with PDUs uh, or, or uh, building applications that rely on this method of processing is to find a way to convert your, your streaming data, which most sources are gonna operate on, I mean, are gonna provide streaming data of some sort, to tag features in that data and use one of the uh, now in tree blocks like the tags to PDU block to uh, aggregate the, the streaming data, put it into a PDU and start and start and uh, pass that out for downstream processing. There are a couple general ways to do that. You can do demodulation conventionally with the symbol sync block like a lot of the example flow graphs do, uh, or excuse me, some sort of other uh, appropriate synchronization for what you're doing. You can do that all in the streaming domain and convert uh, you know, demod everything and convert the, the demodulated data into a PDU, or you can do something like, uh, you can do uh, energy detection and tag, tag uh, your streaming data based on energy and only save off the, the bits and pieces that, uh, the streaming data that you care about and process that downstream for uh, clock recovery, synchronization, demodulation, and, and so forth. As I mentioned, the, the original motivation for this was really for transceiver-based applications where you actually want to transmit in addition to uh, like something in, in the real world, another radio. Um, the general philosophy of, of doing that with GRPDU uh, is sort of out, outlined here where you convert, convert your data into a, to a PDU and pass that into some sort of higher level application. So, GNU Radio has always been really, really excellent for doing uh, like physical layer, uh, physical layer processing, but there are some limitations when it comes to building higher layers directly in, in streaming blocks, and this makes it a lot easier. If you're operating on the entire data packets at a time, it lets you, uh, you know, be more deliberate about what you're doing with that data, how you're creating responses to that data, how you're implementing your modem, how you're doing uh, link management, and uh, it's just a lot more convenient. Um, the module today, so we've moved a number of a number of blocks out of GR blocks, the great catch-all, and into GRPDU, which are shown here. Um, there's some reorganization, and uh, quite a few blocks have been added. There's a, a a great block, the PDU Lambda block, is now now in tree, which allows you to design uh, to, you know, you feed it an arbitrary function, and it'll just do that function on all of your data. It's great. Um, there are some examples in in tree now that cover all of all of the blocks that have been added, and I have uh, an example set up that I built uh, last week for. Uh, <laughs> that's running out over in the, in the vendor demo area. So at my house, I have, I have young children, so I have a bunch of baby monitors, and uh, there are a couple, uh, a couple out of tree modules that have, had, have existed in the three, seven, three days, and you know, they, uh, they work really good. I tested them out, and sure enough, uh, I'm sitting in, in my home office, and I can hear my son's baby monitor through GNU radio. So, you know, naturally everybody can. And so the next step is forget that. Uh, it's a little bit bizarre that it is so easy to do that. And, you know, these things work, work at quite long range. So I put, a, I put an example on GitHub this morning that uses some of these blocks and some of these concepts. If you guys who are, who are here in person want to try that out, uh, there, there's a, a pair of uh, ba uh, baby monitor units sitting up in the vendor area. So uh, take a look, try it out. So future of this, um, there are a number of additional blocks that I intend to add and upstream over the over the uh, the next few few months. Hopefully, before three ten is actually released, um, I will continue building reference flow graphs for all of those. The, the original out-of-tree modules will continue to live on and be maintained. Not everything will be upstreamed. 
Um, although I am interested to know if there are particular things that people would like to see. Um, I, uh, hit me up on matrix chat and let me know. Um, moving forward, sort of mentioned this already, but uh, you, moving towards the new PMT library, that'll be uh, a performance increase, hopefully, very soon. And the other thing that uh, I'll be looking at is sort of extracting some of the, D the common DSP between uh, the existing streaming blocks and new PDU blocks that are doing functionally the same thing. Like, for example, there's a PDU quadrature demodulator block it would be great if it used the exact same underlying DSP instead of uh, a copy of the, the streaming one, things like that. Um, yeah, there are a couple things that I have not put uh, really any effort into. So uh, Some of these would be uh, blocks to do like PSK or multi-carrier synchronization. Um, that'd be interesting, it would be a good, uh, a good thing to add. If, uh, if anyone in the community is interested in doing that, that would be awesome. Uh, yeah, and that's all I've got. Cool. All right, thanks, Jacob. Um, any questions for Jacob here? All right. I, I have a question, um, and, and that is, as far as when you talk about um, having the same, the same block handle both PDUs and streams with the same signal processing, do you have a particular structure in mind to do that, or? No, you pretty much saw what I have in mind. Uh, <laughs> very much conceptual. I, I don't, uh, I'm open to suggestions. I just, uh, there, there are a lot, of, a lot of entry blocks and functionality that are like very, very essential to almost, almost any flow graph, like FIR filters or demodulate, like simple quadrature demod, things like that. And right now, the, I've just basically ripped out the exact same DSP, same mm -hmm. bolt calls, all that stuff out of the streaming stuff. Streaming blocks, put them into the PDU blocks, but it would be nice if there was a way to keep that uh, common. Yeah. Cool. Any other questions for Jacob? All right, exciting stuff. All right, Thanks. Um, glad you've taken on this, this effort.